Hello, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshan. Today we are going to learn about few of the timer related activities that has newly introduced in UiPath Studio 2022.10 version. Okay, so uh, in the activity panel you can see I have already typed timer and uh, we got few of the timer related uh, activities, right? So one is timeout scope, then uh, next one is stop timer, then start timer, resume timer and reset timer. Okay, so uh, these activities will help you to include uh, the timer related events in your automation. So just consider you want to calculate uh, the time taken for the execution of some process. Okay, then what you can do, you will have to start a timer, right? Then you can use start timer. Then if you want to stop it somewhere, what you can do, you can use stop timer. And if you want to resume it, like from where you have stopped, you can use resume timer. And if you just want to reset the timer to zero, okay, from the starting, you can use the reset timer activity. And another important thing is timeout scope. So what is the purpose of this? So the purpose is very simple. We can include a timeout session for a sequence of activities. Okay. So um, I will show you how it is going to work. So let me drag and drop timeout scope. Okay. And let me delete this. Okay. Timeout scope and let me hover on top of it. So it creates a scope with limited execution time. It throws a system dot timeout exception in case of timeout. Okay, so it helps to execute few set of activities uh, and if that particular activity is not completing within the time that we are providing, okay, then it will throw a system dot timeout exception. Okay, and uh, what is there in properties? In properties, we can see throw exception after. So here we have to provide the time span and timeout message. So once we get the error, what should be the error message that we need to print? Okay, so let me do one thing. I'm going to give it like five seconds okay zero five and uh, I'm going to use a right line activity or let me use a message box okay and I'm going to print execute okay so here um, the timeout for this particular activity is uh, five second okay so it means like if you have some set of activities all those activities should get complete within five second okay and uh, let me add a right line as well right line activity execution started okay and uh, execution completed okay so these are the two things and let me execute this okay so the timeout for both these activity like uh, uh, within this five second all the activity that is provided within the timeout scope should get complete okay if it is not completing then what will happen it will throw a system dot timeout exception so now it is compiling Okay, execution completed. Okay, so it, had, it it didn't throw any error, right? Because within five second, both this execution got completed. So what I'm do is uh, let me add a delay activity. Okay, I'm going to add a delay over here, and I'm going to give some six second. Okay, so here what I'm trying to achieve is like just consider uh, in your automation you want. To set some timeout for a sequence of activities okay so all these activities should get complete within this timeline and or in case if uh, it is not getting completely you need to throw some error okay so the same scenario i'm trying to replicate so here uh, after right line i have provided six seconds and here the timeout is five so um, after right line we have provided an additional six second delay right so uh, it means like this particular uh, sequence of activities will not get complete within five seconds and it will throw the exception. So let me show you how it is going to throw the exception. So earlier we know like before adding the delay activity, it worked fine. 
uh, we got the right line and, and uh, we got the message box but now it will throw the exception okay so here you can see something went wrong with activity timeout scope the workflow execution timeout okay so there is a timeout happen and, uh, skip so here you can see it has thrown uh, timeout exception system dot timeout exception okay so that is the purpose of a timeout scope let me do one thing let me go to property and here i am going to add a message timeout exception okay okay and let me execute again okay because after the right line we have provided some uh, delay right so that's why it took some time and here we can see the error message like timeout exception occurred okay so this is a message that we have provided if you want to retry the same scenario what you can do is just click on uh, retry and it will try to retry the uh, same scenario okay so here you can see execution started and it is trying to do the same thing and it got failed okay and if you want to stop means just click on stop so it means like uh, why there is a skip like if the particular thing uh, is failing within um, this particular timeline if you want to skip to the next activity you can click on the skip button okay so that is the purpose of uh, timeout activity timeout scope activity so let me disable and minimize it okay we see what are the other activities that are available timeout sorry uh, Time okay so these are the other activities that are available so let me go with start timer create a new timer or restarts an existing one received as parameter so let me start a new timer here before to that i'm going to drag and drop a sequence okay and uh, let me use timer i'm going to start a new timer okay and it is asking to create a timer object okay so let me create a new object timer obj okay and what's the type of uh, timer obj it is of type uip.core.timer okay so the data type of a timer obj is uip.core.timer okay so this is an object right so what i'm going to do is let me add it today okay let me add a delay. Let me give five seconds. Okay. Timer. Uh, let me try to stop the timer. Okay. So what is object? It's a timer object. Is there any other properties that we can set? No. Only we just need to uh provide the time object okay because from here you are going to start a timer and here you are going to stop the timer based on the timer object okay then what i'm going to do is let me print the time taken for this execution okay from this particular uh, step to this particular step so what i can do let me use a right line activity okay so as i mentioned this timer object is a uh, is an object right so time obj dot just click on obj then okay elapsed dot okay then if you want to take it in a days means you can choose days and here we have provided only seconds right so i am going to choose total seconds or here you can see seconds okay I have given uh, seconds dot to string. Okay, so that's it. So here our execution got stop, and this consider if I want to restart the execution. So what I can do, I can go with a resume timer, right? So which timer I need to resume? Timer obj, and uh, let me give some more delay let me copy this 
okay let me paste it over here and i'm going to give 10 second okay then let me use a right line activity here okay then what's the next thing we have reset timer okay so i'm going to use a reset timer so what is the timer object it should be timer opj and uh, any other property no we just need to provide that uh, timer object then let me print the time again okay so that's it so what we have done we started the timer and uh, we have provided a five second delay and we are going to print the time okay so it should print five second and uh, mm, here again we have stopped the timer and uh, I am going to print uh, how much time it has uh, taken okay then uh, resume timer okay then resume timer is for uh, restarting the uh, uh, timer uh, if you stop it okay then we have given a reset timer that is for resetting the time so let me execute this <coughs> So as per my understanding, you will be uh, you can use these activities whenever if you want to set a timer for your execution. So it means like uh, just consider you are going to execute few set of activities and uh, just consider you you have two sequences okay, or three sequences. You want to calculate the time taken for the first sequence and the third sequence. Okay, you want to skip the second sequence and you just want to calculate the a time taken for first sequence and second sequence so i can do you can start a timer then you can stop it at the end of first sequence then you can resume it at the, uh, the third sequence and then you can stop it uh, at the uh, end of third sequence right that's the purpose so let me go to auto here you can see initially it has taken five second because we have provided a uh, five second delay then um, after the stop we have okay so here we have stop then we printed the time so that is five second then uh, again we resumed the time and we have provided a 10 second delay then we printed the time taken so that is a 15 okay 15 second it has taken so 5 plus 10 15 and after that what we have done we reset the time okay so reset the timer means it should start from zero right so here you can see the time taken is a zero so that's it that's how uh, you need to um, use this uh, timer uh, activity and time scope activity so if there is any confusion regarding the usage of any of this activity please do comment in the comment section okay i'll be providing the uh, link to the documentation for uh, these activities you can go through that and if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye